Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. First stream back in ages, absolutely ages. For for anybody who is like YouTube, I used to stream on Twitch. I streamed on Twitch for like a year, basically. I was it? It was like a year and a half. I streamed on Twitch for a year and a half without doing anything else like any other like youtube any other social media i had instagram but does that really count not really this was before instagram shorts so before instagram was actually good for promotion uh yeah i used to stream on twitch for about a year and a half and i i, I think the streams are pretty good people seem to enjoy them there and there are like a decent amount of people coming by but um uh, streaming on Twitch, the idea of it is, is quite scary now, because what if I stream again and lots of people come by, and I haven't streamed for like a year or so, so I'm kind of terrified of that. So my plan is start small, start on YouTube, and then slowly like work my way up to streaming on Twitch again. I was also very curious because. I've been doing YouTube videos for a little bit now. None of them are like going crazy or whatever, but I've been doing them and some people have been watching, which is pretty cool. Like it's, it's, it's sick that people are watching the videos. And I was really curious, like how many of these people will actually come to the stream? Who knows? I don't know. I've never streamed on YouTube, but I, I wanted to find out. So here we are. This is, this is the stream. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I'm I'm also very curious about YouTube's discovery, because when I did stream on Twitch, I own I like I only streamed on Twitch, and Twitch discovery is absolutely awful. Like it's it's terrible. But if you're like s decent at streaming, you can still grow on Twitch. Like people people say that you can't grow on Twitch. You can. It's just you grow very slowly because you basically, like, your potential to gain followers or to get people to watch you is just proportional to how many people happen to stop by your stream, which is usually, is usually not many. Like, realistically, if you're, like, bottom-of-the-barrel streamer, you're maybe going to have, like, 20 people stop by in, like, a four-hour stream or something, which is really not a lot. Uh, I mean, assuming that all 20 of those people absolutely love you, they think you're the best guy ever, and then they want to stick around in the stream, like, tw 20 people for four hours work, yeah, it's, like, 20 people who are going to come back and, like, hang out with you and have a good time, that's really cool, but, like, YouTube, you can post a video and get, like, 100 subscribers from it, and then you're like, oh, why did I, why did I spend four hours streaming? Because realistically, of those 20 people, you're going to have, what, like, two two of them who, who think you're interesting? And on top of that, if you are streaming for, like, four hours, the chances are, during those four hours, you're not going to be entertaining the entire time. So someone could come in to watch your stream while you're taking a piss. And then what happens? No, th then they leave. Because why, why would they stay if... <laughs> If there's nothing happening, like, there's no, there's no reason to stay, basically. So, what I, what my, what my plan is, is just start super, super basic, literally, webcam, microphone, light, and then, uh, then Unity. And slowly, slowly build my way up, like, back on Twitch. I had crazy stuff, I had like crazy redeems, I put like stupid hats on and stuff, like so, so many things, and it's, I'm like, oh, I can't even remember half of them at this point, there were so many, so this is like a soft reset, bring it back, take it back to like a, a nice low baseline, and then just slowly, slowly work the way back up to something which is like, whoa. This seems like a, a legit, good, cool stream with a guy who's been doing this for a while and has, like, put a lot of effort in. But for now, 
slow effort. It's just like I needed to start streaming and this was the easiest way I could think of to do that. Like my girlfriend got me my girlfriend got me a green screen that can attach to my chair and I was like, yo, that's so cool. I wanna use it, but I couldn't figure out how to attach it to the chair. <laughs> uh <laughs> I will eventually. Eventually there will be a green screen behind me, which should look should look pretty cool. But for now, there is no green screen behind me because I was like, I need to start. I just need to start streaming, basically. I wanted to I wanted to start at the start of March, but I got ill. I got uh, basically I wasn't I wasn't that ill. But it was my throat that was bad. And you can't you can't stream with a bad throat. Basically, it's just impossible. Like I've tried before. And you just end up coughing through like the entire thing. You have to mute yourself literally the entire stream. It's like, what's even the point? Why bother? Just don't. Just wait till you're better and then start streaming after that. Speaking of, one thing I am very worried about is I don't, I don't really talk to people <laughs> in general. So my throat isn't used to the wear and tear of being a, a veteran streamer anymore. It's, uh, I've got a little baby throat, which is probably going to be, it's probably going to get pretty scratchy after a very short period of time. Like, I used to be able to do, like, four, five-hour streams. I think maybe, like, once or twice I did up to six, but it's it was pretty rare. That's the longest time. But, phew, honestly, two hours could be pushing it, really. It might not, we might not even, we might not hit, hit the two hour mark. Also, when you're streaming and you got people coming in, it's a lot easier to kind of keep going. It's a lot easier to, to keep up the momentum of the stream because like you have other people there. You have people to bounce off of. And I know that me not having other people to bounce off of is going to make it a lot harder because obviously I don't have all of the people that used to watch on Twitch. I have me and maybe like one or two people that will find the stream naturally on YouTube and one or two people that are subscribed to me on YouTube. And that's that's about it. That's that's all I'm going to have. So it's going to be a lot of effort to keep talking on my part, both as a physical strain, but also as a mental strain. So Let's just see what happens, basically. That's that's about it. Oh, bloody hell, my cables. My chair's over my cables. What I'm thinking is, at least to start with, I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play a little bit of the game. Because what I wanted to do this stream, my, uh, my goal, is the spider, the spider's ability, doesn't work. I mean, it does, but it also doesn't work. So I really want I I really want to fix the spider's ability. If I can fix it, that would be amazing. It's not it's not too broken. It's just every now and then, what will happen is the spider will just like zoom to the middle of the map for no reason. Not ideal, basically. So, I'm gonna try and fix that. That's the plan. See what happens. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, whoa, there's a bunch of new bugs in the game now. Yeah, uh, I actually added a bunch of new guys since since the last devlog. That's kind of what this devlog is actually about. It's all this next devlog is going to be about is me going through the process of adding a whole bunch of new characters to the game. Uh, the premise for the video is basically... My game is, it's not a rip off of Mario Strikers, but it's heavily influenced by Mario Strikers. And because of that, it's basi it's pretty much in direct competition with Mario Strikers. If my game is worse than Mario Strikers, it's Mario Strikers knockoff. If my game is better than Mario Strikers, then it seems like it's inspired by Mario Strikers. So, I need to make my game better than Mario Strikers, is the gist of things. However... Um, obviously it's not better than Mario Strikers. Like Mario Strikers is 
is insane. It's made by Nintendo. It's made by a huge AAA company. My game is made by me. And I don't have the budget or the skills of probably like 90% of the people that even worked on, on Mario Strikers. So I'm taking another approach, which is quantity over quality. The, uh, the classic EA approach. So basically... Mario Strikers, like the main the main problem with it was that it didn't have enough characters when it was when it was launched. And people people were kind of annoyed about that. Rightly so. It's like a full price AAA game. So I'm just gonna put more characters in my game, basically. And then I can be like, hey, look at me. I'm better than Mario Strikers. Even though I'm clearly not. <laughs> and uh, that's the premise of the video, basically. So that's what there's a bunch of new guys. There's the moth I'm playing as. This is meant to be a spider spider model. Eh. I'm not the most happy with it, but it kind of does the job for now. And fixing the spider's ability is the main goal. So the spider is meant to shoot out a it's meant to shoot out a web. So if you look, you can see this like white thing growing from it that um doesn't look amazing. Kind of looks like it could be something else. Wiggling around. And then, there you go. You can kind of see what it's meant to do. The spider is meant to basically hit something with the web. And then when it hits something with the web, it'll dash towards it. Just like, like Spider-Man. It's fairly, fairly self-explanatory. It's exactly how you would expect a spider to, to, to work, pretty much. My... My ideas were basically have this kind of grappling hook or have some kind of ranged like stun ability like a you shoot a web and hit someone then they get frozen in place. Those are my two ideas and I ended up going with the movement based one because I think it's more fun. The movement abilities that I've put in so far tend to end up being the most fun to play with. So Stuff like the grasshopper, he's got a jump, very fun. The weevil goes around in a bin, that's very fun. Who else is there? The snail, I really enjoy the snail. A few other people that have played it don't like the snail, but I think I think he's really good. But he he basically speeds people up with his with this little snail trail. And uh yeah, but because he's because he's very slow, people don't like him. But if you use a speed boost, he's just as fast as anyone else. And then on top of that, the of the guys, they're like a regular speed using this snail trail. They're like they're way faster. So I don't know. I think he's I think he's great. I think he's a great guy. Also, it has kind of fun interactions. The way that it uh, the way that like the woodlouse can roll over a snail trail and destroy it, or the fact that other like snail trails can destroy each other's snail trails. I think that's very fun, and I think the the ability just generally looks pretty good. Okay, it's getting towards the end of the match here. I've absolutely destroyed the AI. So the reason why the AI is not doing very well against me, a is because I'm just so good at my game, of course. <laughs> but no, but b is the the main thing is. The, the the AI has like a fake reaction time and I have a feeling that the reaction time is set to be quite low at the moment because I wanted it to be I was showing it to people and when I show it to people I tend to set the reaction time to be a bit lower so that it's easier for them to learn how to play however it does mean that when when I come back to play it I find it a bit too easy and the reaction the reaction time basically stops the AI from just tackling you instantly, like just just running you down and just insta tackling you, because it's just it's, it's just not very fun when that happens. It's just kind of a bad time. But basically, what it'll do instead is it will run up to you, kind of like stop in front of you, and then and then decide to tackle you. I'm going to leave this open so it looks as though I'm doing like actual actual development of the 
of the map, even though I'm not. It's just a nice little backdrop. <laughs> and that's pretty smart. <laughs> People will come in and be like, whoa, what's this? What's going on? And I'll be like, it is what it is. <laughs> There's not much happening, but you know, it looks good. That's all that really matters. So the main thing to fix with the spider is firstly, the the web shoots out really, really slowly. It's meant to shoot out pretty quickly. And at the moment, the web shoots out about one mile an hour, which is kind of useless because imagine you had a grappling hook and the hook fires like this. What's the point? That it's just, you might as well just walk. You don't need the grappling hook, do you? So I need to fix that first, and then I need to fix the collision problems where what happens is the grappling hook fires out, it hits something, and then you should move towards the thing. However, because of the way that I've done certain things, it's very, it's very like loose term terminology. I'll be able to show it a bit easier like in the game. But because of the way that I've set certain assets up, technically their position is the center of the map. So the spider will latch onto something and then zoom towards the center of the map, which is not ideal. It's meant to zoom towards the, the actual object itself. So instead of zooming towards the object, I need to kind of get it to zoom towards the point that it collides with on the object. But first thing I need to make it, I need to make it come out a bit quicker because it is really slow. I was doing it for dem I was making it slower for demonstration purposes earlier. And I'm not set it back. So if I do that, open up Bootstrap, hit play, I'll be able to test it and see see how it looks. Oh no, not playing on the stinky red team. Come on. Okay. So if I use the ability, it shoots out. Oh, and then shooting out like a little bit behind for some reason too. <laughs> That's not meant to happen. So let's see what's going on there. I think it's just the position of the grapple piece is wrong. Yeah. So basically the problem is the the Z position needs to be half of the, the scale so that its parents transform is in the middle. It's, or well, not the middle, so it's on the edge, so it'll basically scale like this, instead of scaling like this. So like this, not like this. Because otherwise it'd basically just, like if I, if I show, show what I'm doing, and set this to zero, what happens is when I scale this, it scales from the middle, whereas I want it to just just scale in one direction. And if it can just scale in one direction, that's way better. We want it to scale like this. So shooting forwards, that's the goal. Okay. Let's see if it works, shall we? Who knows? It should do. <laughs> it should. Okay, spider. Oh my god. The controller I'm using is very old and has a lot of drift, which makes navigating menus really difficult. Okay, let's see. Hey, there we go. So you can see how uh, basically it fires out. I'll see if I can do a, a cool play with the ball here. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> it fires out and they should pull towards. It, sh it should pull you towards whatever it hits. However, every now and then, it just breaks for whatever reason. So the plan is to just stress test it and try and figure try and figure out why it's breaking. Oh my god! I think one thing one thing that I might change is the the moment. Oh, come on. I need to get the spider to be able to show it. So 
If I shoot, I can then spin. And I don't know if I like that. Because it can be really annoying if you're aiming to go in one direction. Like, for example, I'm trying to grapple onto this wall and then I spin. It can still, like, grapple me onto the wall. It's very, it's very bizarre how it works. And it doesn't feel like a, a natural interaction. Oh. Okay, well that definitely wasn't meant to happen. Not really sure what that was, actually. I think it might be time to debug some stuff. So what I'm going to do... Hey! As Asmist? Is that how you pronounce your name? How you doing? Thanks thanks for stopping by. I'm glad, glad you like look, the look of the game. It's, uh, it's Bug Ball. I don't know if you're... If you're subscribed, I, I still don't know how YouTube streaming works very well. I don't know if you're subscribed or if you've been keeping up with the videos that I'm, I'm making. But, uh, but yeah, this is this is the game. You play, it's basically just football with bugs. And all the bugs have different abilities. And they do they do a bunch of wacky different things. And I'm, current, I'm currently trying to fix the spider ability. Because the spider ability is very broken. It, it'll randomly grapple you onto different things, which it's not meant to do. Oh my god, I just got the AI just scored against me. Okay. So, I think. Here we go, what's this? On trigger enter. Yes. So, this is what I need to do. I need to come into here and figure out what it's actually hitting because <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it's hitting okay so basically we've got uh, if the thing that's hitting is a wall then then it'll debug it and then for the others okay to be fair, I'm not sure why I'm using separate code for these two parts. I feel like I could just use the same code for both. And then just... Yeah, just add the wall layer to it. If I copy and paste this... What do I? Okay, what does, what does grapple hit do? So I need to figure out first. So it's the grapple target if it's a wall. Okay, I think I could just get rid of this wall part. Get rid of get rid of that too. Get rid of that line right there. And then in here I can copy and paste this part and chuck it in there. So we'll debug we'll debug whatever it hits first, because that's kind of important. Is that what I want to do? Hmm. I can't decide. I cannot decide. Anyway, Asmith, how are you doing? As wait, as missed. How are you? How are you doing today? Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. Are you a game developer yourself? Just interested in game development, or just just like browsing live streams on YouTube? The grapple target. I don't even think we need that. Where's well, position? Yeah, we'll just just keep position. Oh, it's help if I show what I was doing. Here we are. So we can get rid of we can get rid of this because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now 
whether it's colliding with a wall or whether it's colliding with just anything else. If it's colliding with the ball or the player or anything, that's not really important. So that can go. And then I think I can just shorten that to that. Let's see what happens. Test it. What's the what's the worst that could happen, right? Okay. Come on. Take your time, Unity. Okay. This could this could go really well. This could be a first try first try fix. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. The nice thing is Oh wait. Hang on a sec. The so I'm not done. What I do need to do is I need to add the wall layer to the list of layers that can be detected. Otherwise, the, the wall won't be detected, basically. It'll fire at the wall and just nothing will happen. And then I can go into here and just get rid of the fact the wall layer is separate from the regular layers. Then it should just count everything as something that can be hit. All right. Let's see, shall we? So, will it work? Will I be able to use the grapple and hook? Let's get rid of all of this. And then try and shoot onto a wall. That works. Now I just need to wait for the cooldown. Oh, that's not ideal. It's not what we were, not what we were looking for. <laughs> okay, it's hitting, it's hitting this cube eight, which I believe is in here. Nope. Cube number eight. Let's see where the colliders are for it. So it, it shouldn't have hit there. I'm not sure how it did. Oh well, <laughs> let's just keep going. Okay, that that was fine. Oh, I think I see the problem. I think I see the problem. Basically, from the looks of things, let me test. Let me test a little theory here. If I do this, nope, I, f I messed up the theory. What I think is happening is it's basically latching on to whatever's in front of it, even if it doesn't actually reach whatever's in front of it. Yeah, there we go. So, to fix that, hmm, how do I fix it? <laughs> That's a good that's a good question. Why is it doing it? I'm so confused. Okay. Let's just let's just play around a little bit more and see what happens. Cuz it's very hard it's very hard to tell what is causing the problem. So I think more more playtesting is in order. And what I'm going to do, because they're, they're a bit annoying, is I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off all the other players, because otherwise it's really hard to tell what's going on, because they just keep running around with the ball. And I'm like, stop, guys! I'm trying to test here. Okay, they're all off. It's just me and oh no, there's only one goalie. Me and a goalie. That should be fine. Cool. So if I grapple onto this wall over here, that seems fine. What happens if I just grapple into thin air? It hits the wall. That's not ideal. How about here? Yep. Still, it still really likes that wall for some reason. Okay. 
gonna view it in scene view and then just pull the game pull the game over here so I can still still have some kind of control let's get rid of this minimap ID as well so I can actually see what's going on perfect so if I do that it hits there I think what's happening so here was where I hit just then I think if I miss it basically is just going for that exact same spot yeah so if I don't hit the target instead of going oh you didn't hit it's going oh you hit the exact same spot that you hit last time which is not really ideal yeah so how do I fix it is the is the real question that is the question indeed I don't know <laughs> I don't know to be honest Not really sure why it's happening. Because what should be happening right here is it when it hits into something, it will loop through everything. It'll loop through all of the collision layers, the potential things that it can collide with, basically. And then it will decide does one of the collision layers or is one of the is the thing they just hit one of the collision layers and if it is then it will it will say like hey the thing that you hit is one of the collision layers so why is that happening maybe I'll try doing it frame by frame okay let's see so it fires out fires out fires out it hits, it's registered as hitting this wall here, I'm fairly sure. Let's check. Stadium, walls, number nine, yep, yeah, that's the wall down there. Now what? And it zooms across. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's not right. Okay. Let's try this then. If I do it in this direction, what happens? Let's get rid of all the debugs so I can tell. Oh. What was that? Why did it do that? Why did it just... Why did it just switch? Oh. So one frame ago, it was over here, and then it just moved to over here. Why? Very interesting. Shoot the grapple. Hmm. Very curious. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know why it does it, to be honest. Let's try and uh, let's see if there's any any clues anywhere as to why it might be doing that. So, what's happening is when you cast the ability. It should in just increase the, the the scale. Right? Okay. When the ability is triggered, what it does is it sets the direction of the grapple to be the direction that you're facing. So I think in this in this case, ability triggered basically just starts starts causing 
the actual grappling hook to shoot out like so and then when it hits something that is when it actually casts I believe let's see when is when is is casting set to true so after you shoot the grapple yeah so after you shoot the grapple it is considered to be casting Oh, Alexa, what's going on? Sorry, oh, no, no, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me, Alexa. Um, I think maybe what I need to do is actually put this shooting, shooting of the grapple inside the casting. I'm not sure it's actually needed down here. Okay, the easiest way to, t to tell, because I, I wrote this a while ago, so I don't, don't really remember how it fully works, is to look at when the grapple object gets set to true. So what happens is it gets, it gets set there. And then it shoots the grapple. So I reckon... I could just include shooting the grapple inside of casting. Right? Maybe? Let's see, I'm going to need to focus on this for a second. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it not working? Hmm. So I think grapple parents rotation I don't think the grapple parents rotation needs to needs to change does it what does grapple hit actually do it sets casting that says casting to true but this also sets casting to true why do they both set casting to true that doesn't sound like it should be a thing I think if I do that that might just fix it. I mean, you don't always need to know know why the code works, right? Sometimes it just needs to work. And I think, I think that that one line is, was potentially what was causing the problem. But I guess we'll find out now. Cool. After not streaming for so long, I I always forget how much how much water I need to drink whilst talking constantly because it is so much it's so much water otherwise your throat just gets absolutely ruined okay so what we're gonna do is quickly turn off all of the all of the other players in the game because I really I don't want to have to deal with them oh. Sorry, helps if I actually switch scenes. Let's get rid of these guys. And then come over to here. Get rid of those guys. And then, if I actually play the game, it's just me. No one's going to come and tackle me. JS? Is it JS? It's not JS, I'm afraid. It is uh, it's C sharp. How you doing though, J noob? <laughs> Is that why you're asking if it is JS because you are J noob, or is that completely unrelated and your name is James and you're also a noob or something? Let's see. <gasps> oh, oh, uh, <laughs> that's not quite how it's meant to work, but it's, I think it's an improvement. Maybe is it an improvement? Let's see. Someone in fire. It just stays out. 
No way, syntax looks like JS. Really? To be fair, um, the the main guy that I like learned from, uh, he's very he's very familiar with uh, with Node.js, so that might be why. Because I basically just ripped off his coding style. That could be it, <laughs> to be honest. Like the way the way that I lay everything out is basically the exact same way that he does. Because he's the only guy that I really know who actually has a job in game development and programming and I do not have a game a job in game development and programming but I would like to be as good as someone who has a job in game development and programming so my goal is just to rip him off basically add an easter egg uh, with your name in it I mean on my game is not at that point where I could be adding in easter eggs otherwise I would it's really uh, I mean Look at look at this going on here. There's currently a a spider with a, a giant web sticking out of it. Otherwise, otherwise I totally would. J New Bro, actually would. But it's just it's not quite at that point, you know. Like if you if you actually look, this is currently what the map looks like. All of these, basically all of these assets are temporary. They're they're just they're just from an asset pack because. I wanted it to look good. The floor texture I actually made myself. My name on the stone. I had that. <laughs> you really want your, your name on the stone, huh? Well, let's... Should I, should I see what I can do? Let's have a look. I don't even know how I put it on the stone, to be honest. Because the stones are... Uh, The, stone, the stones aren't staying in the game, mate. That's See, that's the problem. If the stones were staying in the game, I'd be like, yeah, cool. You can have your name on it. But I don't I don't want to... I don't want to give you your name on one of these prestigious stones. And then I come in in like a week's time and just sledgehammer the stones to pieces. Because that's what's going to happen. Unfortunately. What my eventual plan is... Is, if I zoom out, I'll be able to show you. I want to have banners like they do at football games. Like, um, I'll, I'll quickly show you the sort of thing that I mean. In the, in the wall, god damn. Gee, dude, we've only, we've only just met. That's a, that's a tall order to be asking for your name on the, on the wall. Never mind, uh, never mind just on a wall. On the actual ball itself. That's crazy. I don't even know if I'd write my own name on the ball. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind someone I just met. <laughs> that's uh, that's hardcore. But Janie, okay, here's the thing, right? I want to have these banners like this that go across that go across the sides. I'll try and let's make it a bit of a, a bit of an easier color to see, so I can show you a bit better. Do I have any? I do have some materials. Stuff like this that goes along the side, and I want to put not like actual advertisements, maybe actual advertisements. I don't know, but if they are actual advertisements, it'll be stuff that I care about. Not just like random things, but I think it'd be really fun to have have stuff like that that just goes along the edge of the pitch, like they do in actual football games on the grass. Okay, I could actually do that. I could very easily do that. Give me give me one second. Let me just open up Photoshop and I'll do it for you, mate. <laughs> do you want me to make it look like it's burned into the grass as well? <laughs> What do you say? Where are we? What did I even save the grass texture to? Because if I can find where the grass texture is saved to, then I'll be able to edit it for you. Let me see here. Bug ball. Fine, bruh. <laughs> 
Wow. You're not not very picky anymore. What happened? You want you want it on the you wanted your name on the stone, in the ball, on the grass? And I like, yeah, just just however you wanna do it really. Before you were uh, a man of a man of set decisions. I want it this way. I guess not. Let me see if I can, I can find this uh, this grass texture for you. Where are we? It is in here, in bug ball. It's in my assets. The textures. The pitch texture. All right, I'll show you what I'm doing. There you are. This is the this is the actual pitch texture in the in the game. How how big do you want it? I'm gonna copy the code and release it before you do it. Add my name on the ball. Ah, oh, no, don't do it, J Noob. You'll put me out of business. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll ruin my my whole reputation if you do that. Not too small. Not too big. Okay. You're a real Goldilocks over here, huh, J Noob? Okay, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Do you want it? Do you want it horizontal? Like this? Or do you want it actually to be rotated with the pitch? Like this? That's the real question here. With putting your name on the on the pitch itself. Is how which orientation do you want it? Totally up to you, mate. What's all? Yeah, <laughs> that's not that's not very helpful. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> which <laughs> which direction? You can't just say yeah. <laughs> horizontal. Cool. Wait, I don't I don't remember which way horizontal was now. Is that this way the way it is now? You can and brown. You want your name to be a mud stain. A brown J noob in the corner. Do you want it on the home team, or do you want it on the away team? That's the question. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it a bit browner. Oh, hope I did a decent job of it. Oh, I get out of here. You want to be on the home team. Solid, solid choice. Solid choice, J Noob. Okay. I'll do it like that. That way, that way, the home team looks like they've written it because the home team obviously would would have the pitch facing in this direction. Bro, it should be hard to notice. Okay. Something like this. Which looks very small. Actually, it's it's a bit too it's a bit too opaque, you know. I think I need to lower it down like that. Okay. Let's see how it looks. I need to I need to save an original one of these. <laughs> Just so, so I don't accidentally save over everything that I've been doing. Where are we? Also out of curiosity, J Noob, this is literally my first ever stream on YouTube. Uh, how did you find the stream? Are you are you subscribed? Oh, uh, you want it horizontal? You want it horizontal? Okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. My B. I'll uh, I'll fix that up for you. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty subtle. 
Oh, fuck, I don't want to save a copy. Save it to bug ball. Yep, want to save. You're, you're subscribed. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. It's, so I, I used to stream on Twitch, like, a decent amount, but because I have, I think I have, like, a, a pretty similar following on Twitch to, uh, to YouTube, but my Twitch, the people that watch me on Twitch were a lot more active. I'm trying to get back into streaming, but I'm too scared to go on Twitch because I think there'll be too many people watching me. So I figured I'll start on YouTube and then just like slowly build it up. So it's pretty cool. I, I genuinely had no idea if anyone would actually bother coming to the stream because it's pretty like pretty impromptu. So it's, it's pretty sick to actually see people. You're studying and the stream got recommended? Damn. What? <laughs> what happened to the studying though? <laughs> what's, go what's going on there? Does that mean you gave up? You're giving up on studying already? Nope. Oh. Let's see. Save the picture texture. Don't want to replace it. You got an exam that's at the end of the year. Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't be like the mum who's like, "You gotta be. Why aren't you studying for your exam right now? What are you doing? You're gonna fail all of your exams." Boop your nose. What are you making in Adobe Photoshop? I am making a a texture for the pitch for my. For my football game. J Noob here has uh, asked me to put his name really subtly on the pitch. So I'm just I'm just quickly exporting it to put back into the game. This is a this is what the actual pitch looks like. Ignore this this red thing. This is what the actual thing looks like, yeah. Cool, thanks. Oh yeah. How you doing, by the way, Boopianos? How how is life in Boopianos Town? Okay, let me try. And, let me actually let me actually export this, and then you can see a name on on the on the bloody pitch, J Noob. Long story, bud. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, J Noob. Why why is there a long story? I mean, I've got time. I can. I can sit and listen to your long story. Okay. It's decent. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Boopy Nose. Boopy Nose, out of out of curiosity, uh how how did you did you find the stream? Because this is this is literally my first ever stream. I just asked Janie this. It's my first ever stream on YouTube. So I I'm curious. Are you subscribed? Did you just randomly find it? How how does streaming on YouTube work? Have you ever streamed on YouTube? Do you, do you have any pointers for me? You've been trying to get better with uh, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and other Adobe programs. Nice. I think the main thing, the main thing that helped me get better with just all all Premiere like all Adobe software. Especially Photoshop, it's just shortcuts. If you get if you if you learn all the Photoshop shortcuts, you go from like being at sort of this level to being at like this level. Just overnight. It saves you so much time. It's ridiculous. And it's only like it's only simple stuff, just like knowing that B is brush or E is a razor. Knowing like control T is to transform. Stuff like that. My guy asked, how's life in Booper Nose Town? What's wrong with that, J-Noob? <laughs> What's wrong with that? 
I was watching uh, a YouTube video and I saw your stream on the recommended. Oh shit, that's so cool. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I uh, didn't even know that that was a a thing that would that would happen. I've I've seen it a couple of times, but usually it's like bigger streams, not like not Joe Smo like me over here, you know. Jesus, how you doing? How are, how are you, Jesus? Thanks for coming for coming to the stream. Gotta be more crazy if you want views. More crazy? What do you mean by more crazy? What am I doing that's not crazy enough for you, uh, for you, Janub? Nothing. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair, Fair dues. Can't can't complain. Can't hate. Boom boom. Yo, yo to you. How you doing? How how are you, Boom Boom? Like speed. Nah man. I can't be like I can't be like speed. <laughs> I'm not I'm not about that. To be fair, when I when I used to stream more, yeah. You know. I I was I was a bit more crazy. I did some like weird streams back when I back when I streamed more. But I'm trying to I'm trying to take it slow. <laughs> I'm trying to take it slow and like build my way up to uh, back to the wacky streams. I did some I had some like I had some pretty cool pretty like pretty cool stream ideas. I I, I will say. Not to toot my own horn too much, but they were pretty cool. Um, but it's a lot. It's a lot of effort being like a being like an actual streamer, not just someone who goes live every now and then. You know. W boom boom hell yeah, boom boom. Are you? Uh, this goes for you too, boop your nose. Uh, are either of you game developers by any chance? Is that why? Is that why you clicked on the stream, or did you just think, "Oh, this looks like a somewhat interesting stream"? I'm a, I'm a just tell random ideas I had. Jesus, hit me, hit me with all of the random ideas. I'm down to hear them. Not like him, he's got below syndrome. Jesus, come on, Jay Noob. <laughs> I mean, he is, he is very over the top. I will say that, but. uh Honestly, if I could get if I get speed to play my game eventually, that's the goal. I wouldn't even say I'm a, like the like a big speed fan, but the man has a lot of people that watch him, and a lot of people care about what he cares about. So it'd be pretty cool if uh, if one day maybe who knows. Somehow, I could trick him into playing the game. <laughs> Alright, I hope you're ready for this. Uh, I hope you're ready for this, J-Noob. I'm switching out the textures, so this is gonna... This is gonna show your name on it. You'll be famous among the bug ball community. <laughs> What's up in Boomtown? Yeah, Boom Boom. This uh, this is Unity. Yeah. Unfortunately, so. After all of the uh, the good old drama surrounding Unity, but unfortunately, it is the only game engine I know. C Sharp is the only programming language I know. So, gotta make do with it. I mean, it's, it's still a good engine. It's still a great engine, honestly. But. I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll switch to Godot. Who knows? Kinda? Okay. I want to become one. I have Unity. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, boom boom. I mean You're taking taking the right steps to get there. Have you have you tried making anything yourself yet? Or are you just uh just like taking those first steps?
Let's see. I need the pitch texture. I think it's this one. Nope, not that one. Where is it? Let's see. I don't remember where I wrote your name, J Noob. Nope, that's the old pitch texture. Sorry about this disgusting colour. I'm not really sure why it's gone so bright like that. Let's just do that for now. Uh, no, but I'm trying to get into it and learn it. Ah, oh, hello, yeah, BP Nose. How have, how have you tried learning so far out of curiosity? Because I have my own opinions on what is the best way to learn coding. But obviously, everyone learns in different ways. I'm more of a, I'm more of someone who learns really well in school. But I know there are a lot of people who learn really well not being in school. But if you are someone who learns really well in school, then I'm more than happy to tell you the ways that I think are the best way to learn. What have I done? How have I balls this up? Why is the texture looking all weird now? Let's just undo it. There we go. Alright, J Noob. Where's your name? Is it around here? Oh, I think I forgot to. St I didn't save it properly. Gutted, mate. I'll find it. I'll find it eventually. Uh, maybe different bugs have different abilities. Jesus. Would you like to see something? Would you like to see something I think is pretty cool? I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the videos that I've been making, Jesus, but. The bugs do in fact have different abilities and since since my last video on this game the bugs I've added like over 10 new bugs and they've all got different they've all got different abilities it's pretty it's pretty cool some are, I mean I'm in the process of trying to fix one of them at the moment but like pretty much all of them are ready there You got Unity right before the, the drama? Oof. Yeah. No, that's, that's fair. But honestly, it's still a good time to learn Unity. I don't think Unity's going anywhere, but what do I know? I'm just some guy on the internet. Probably not the best person to listen to. <laughs> Add BGM. What is, what is BGM? Do I want to know what BGM is? I use a website where code is simpler. Okay. That's fair enough. Do you do you scratch or something, Jesus? YouTube tutorials. Uh, but soon I'm uh, going to buy Smarty RBX uh, scripting course so I can learn more. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, BP knows. For me, the biggest thing that helped me actually learn how to program, because I learned, I try to learn to program through Unity tutorials and it didn't work. I I didn't really pick anything up. The problem is you've got to have this like baseline understanding of programming. And if you don't have the baseline of understanding, then when you go to like learn stuff on top of that, it's really difficult. But I did a course on Udemy and it was great. It's, it's just like Udemy. It's like Unity 2D beginner course. It's a huge course, and it teaches you basically the complete fundamentals of programming and of and of Unity. It's great. Where is my name, J Noob? Something happened. It didn't. I don't know what happened, but it's it's not there. I'm afraid. I've been to a couple coding classes. Oh, nice. 
Oh yeah, boom boom. I've never actually been to a coding class, so I'm very jealous of you. There's input lag or output lag. He's responding one minute late. No, I'm just really bad at keeping up to date with chat, Jay Noob. Sorry. Do I have a dung beetle? Jesus. Let me show you if I've got a bloody dung beetle. Are you ready for this? The dung beetle is one of my favorite characters. Check this out. The Moya roll. Oh no. No, where's he gone? No, come back, Dung Beetle. <laughs> the more you roll with him, the more powerful eventually his uh, his Dung Ball is. There you go. You can see he just absolutely battered that moth. And it was Scratch. Hell yeah. Honestly, Scratch is great. I used Scratch a bunch when I was in school. I had... I was basically forced to stay late most nights at school because I couldn't get a lift home and all I would do was just use scratch basically and it was pretty fun. Bro that was my idea for the ability, Jesus, I'm on it, great minds think alike you know. <laughs> yeah no I'm actually, I'm <laughs> exactly, hell yeah, yeah no I was um I'm in the process of editing like my next video where basically what I do is I take a bunch of suggestions for different bugs, different abilities, all that sort of thing and uh, just chuck them in the game basically. So, so yeah, it's four minutes now, four minute delay. Jnoob, you might need to refresh the page mate. I think that could be, I think that could be a problem. Although I'm not, still, still not very experienced with streaming on YouTube, so unfortunately, I am not too sure. I think it was more fake ball to trick the enemy, but still, Jesus, did you comment that on one of the videos by any chance? I feel like I might have seen. Let me check. I feel like I've seen that comment somewhere. Some, someone else had that a very similar idea and originally I did think of that but the, the game's just playing by itself at this point but the problem was that it was just gonna be too <laughs> just gonna be too much of a pain to make honestly maybe I'll add a maybe I'll add an alternate ability for the dung beetle at, at some point so that so that I can do that but at least for now, it was just way easier to. It was way easier to do it this way. <laughs> I'm just a very, I'm just a very lazy guy. Bo boom boom! Do you have a roly poly? I do. He's very badly modelled. But check, but check this out. Yeah, uh, this guy here, he, he rolls around, and he knocks people over when he does. <laughs> I really need to update the model for him. It looks so bad. All of the other guys have like round eyes, but for some reason his are square because I made him first. <laughs> like if I, I'll show you what he looks like in the menu. This is your first time tuning in, Jesus. Oh damn, <laughs> crazy. Yeah, this is the this is the roly poly. He looks awful, doesn't he? Boom boom. Let me know when you see this, J Noob. I see it. I missed I missed it, but then I came back and saw it. Yeah, it's, look at look how square they are. Also, I got the colouring a bit wrong. So these guys actually have white eyes, and he looks like he's got some kind of disease because they're very grey. <laughs> Same with the caterpillar; he's got square eyes too. <laughs> Don't know why. It's just how it is, isn't it? Mind if I make a title song? Jesus. If you want to make a, a title song, absolutely go right ahead. I would I would love to have a title song. <laughs> I've been been watching Inazuma Eleven recently. Someone said that my game is very similar to it. And the title song for that, like the the English dub title song, 
of course, is is so good. It's so it's so cheesy and great. I love it. Mm. Add background music, Junior. Are you talking add background music to the stream? Is that what you're saying? You did it. You're streaming, Kim. Yeah, I am. That feels weird to say. I am streaming. It's uh pretty cool. It's, it's actually going pretty well. It's for for a first YouTube stream ever. It's going it's going very well. Virginia, do you want do you want stream do you want music for the background of the stream or do you want music for in the game? Cuz I will get around to adding music to the game eventually. <laughs> but I kind of I've been thinking about it and I I think I want to stream without music because it lets me create clips easier. And if any of you guys have heard of Pirate Software, he basically got huge recently from streaming because because of clips. And it's way easier to make clips if you don't have any audio in the background of them, if you don't have any music. Puma, Puma, I'm glad you I'm glad you like the roly poly. I mean, I might change his eyes, but I like his design. I think it's fun. He looks very doofy. That's very cool. Where do I post it? Jesus. <laughs> That's a great question. I've been thinking about making a Discord for a while. Um, But I didn't know if anyone would join, to be honest. Yo, stream is full of kids. Either or both. Fair enough. What's wrong? What's wrong with a, a stream full of kids? It's okay for, for anyone to enjoy. Anyone to enjoy games, J Noob. It's really funny hearing uh, you have to awkwardly address me on stream. Proud of you, Sloop. Uh, yeah, I am streaming. That's why I didn't. I didn't reply to you. Sorry about that. I wonder. Who will make edits over game dev? Well, that's the thing, because you'd think it'd be really boring, J Noob. But just just look at Pirate Software. His like his um his YouTube shorts went absolutely crazy recently. So, I mean, it's mostly just like he says a random thing and then just turns it into a little short, and that's about it. I mean, if you're streaming for well, he streams like all day. So if you're streaming for like 12 hours at a time, you're probably going to say something somewhat entertaining over the course of like 12 hours, right? You'd hope. Jesus, Firefly. I don't have a Firefly. That's one thing that I'm missing. The That is one thing that I, I wanted to add, actually. I was torn between adding a firefly or a millipede because I made the millipede and I hated him he looks awful just look at him like the rest of them look really cute and fun and then the millipede just looks a bit disgusting but uh I was yeah I should have I should have made the firefly really really should have but here we are with the millipede. You just all he does is shoot his, shoot his legs off. So uh, like this, like he could fire legs at people. Oh, never mind. Because it doesn't want to let me show it. Here we are, like this. You can fire them at people. But yeah, no, Jesus. If you if you did want to make something fun, or like a theme tune or something. I, honestly, I don't know where the best place to do it would be. I I don't know if it's worth making a Discord if only a few people are going to do it. If only f a few people would join. But other than that, I mean, probably the best place to, s to send me stuff would be Instagram. Because I, I use Instagram occasionally. But that's, yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be the best place. And if you are interested, I can, I can give... I'm gonna put my Instagram in uh, in the chat. You and Sean have this, the same stream voices. It's quite funny. That's because I'm just a rip off of Sean because he's a great streamer. He's everything I aspire to be. <laughs> if 
finish at 5.30. Uh, get a half hour earlier. Hell yeah. It's nice. I'm, a I'm excited to... I'm excited to have more time with you, to be honest. Uh, he can glow and block the screen. Ooh. Interesting, Jesus. Jane, you're so insistent on the name. I might get around to it. I might not, to be honest, now. I was going to put it in, but when I when I loaded up the texture, it didn't have it. I don't know. I don't know why. Sorry. It's just the way it, it's just the way it is, you know? You can... I do like the idea of glowing and blocking the, the screen. One thing I have been thinking about that I'm a little bit that is kind of annoying because it's it's a bit of a limitation I placed on myself is I want the game to be playable in local multiplayer. So the problem that you that you have with local multiplayer is that the screen the screen is basically locked. So if I block the screen, unfortunately, it ends up blocking it for everyone. And I've been trying to think of a way around that, and the only way around it I can think of is adding online multiplayer, which basically like doubles the scope of the game and doubles the amount of effort I have to put in. And I'm just not about that life of putting in that much effort. Boom, the mule one that scores, he becomes a beetle. That is actually such a good idea. Do you, know, do you want to know something? Okay, this is really, this is really dumb. But, um, I asked, I thought it would be funny to ask ChatGPT to write me a script for a video where I'm documenting, like, the process of me making the game with no context other than it was a game called Bug Ball and it was bugs that play football. And ChatGPT was like, I added in the feature where the bugs can evolve. And I was like, that's, that's cool. <laughs> I hate that. Why is why is ChatGPT come up with such a cool idea? But if I did that with the mealworm, like that would be so awesome, right? Oh my god, the AI is beating me. Like that would, that would be so sick. Like I could create like a couple different conditions for him to evolve. Janu, what is it with the kids? What's what's with the what is this? What's going on? Ant lions? Okay, what are, what are ant lions? I don't actually know what they are. What do they what do they do? Cuz another another person actually commented on one of my videos saying, "Oh, you should put ant lions in." But I didn't I don't know what they are. Don't know what they don't know what they actually do. Like what what sort of ability would they have? Yeah, Jesus. If if I could think of a cool ability for the um, for the firefly that would work, like within like the context of the game, that would be sick. Cause I really want to add one in. It'd be way better than this stupid millipede. <laughs> they hide in the sand to catch their prey. Okay, let's have a look. An ant lion. Okay. Let me just switch so that you guys can see this as well. To hit the, the hand on the ground to hit the ball at fast speed. Okay. Like this guy? Or like, cause this, this looks very similar to a, uh, to a dragonfly. But this guy, I've never seen one of these before. Oh, okay, okay. That's what the lava, the lava looks like. And then the fully, the fully finished one. It's like a big, like a big boy dragonfly. That's really cool. This guy looks crazy. Look at him. That is very cool. I actually have a poster of a bunch of different bugs in my room. Because I was like, I need to learn about bugs for this game. And I wondered why there were two dragonflies on it. One that looked like a dragonfly and one that looked like this. And I... I don't read. 
So I guess I just never read the poster to figure it out. <laughs> if I lose marks, it's on you, J Noob. What are you even studying for, mate? What are you going to lose marks on? It's probably not worth it, really, is it? If you want to add upgrades costing in game coins uh, you get from winning, you could upgrade an, an ant to become a fire ant. Oh, boom, I, I quite like that actually. One of the things one of the things I do want to do is I, I've i been thinking about having different variations for bugs. So at the moment, the, the ant, if I can select it, is a is an army ant, and the ability is basically he summons a bunch of other ants, and then if you have oh, then the other ants if you would get tackled, oh fuck they really ran out. <laughs> if you would get tackled, what happens is it switches, well, the the army ants will get tackled instead basically. So I'm very bad at talking and playing at the same time. This is why I'm not a game streamer. Game development. Here we go. There you go. So when when you when you get tackled, the the army ants take the brunt of the tackle instead. Still it's still very rough. It's not I don't it doesn't quite demonstrate how I want it to work exactly. But yeah. That's the idea of it. But I would like to include a bunch of other ants because there are, I know there are like loads of ants that have like really cool like superpowers basically. Not just a, a random army ant that summons a bunch of other little ants that wear top hats. <laughs> Come on, how are you going to clean up a It's literally mine. What do you mean? I thought you got it for me. What the hell? B to wasp to queen, Jesus, right? Like that that evolution would be so cool. I've been thinking about it. I think what I want the wasp to be, because at the moment the bee has a sting. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what direction I would want to go with the wasp. You know, would I want it to to transform? Because at the moment, I don't. The only like transformation ability that I have is the cocoon for the caterpillar. Oh, what the heck. I think you must my message further up. Oh, I'll go go see you. I don't think so. I think I did see it. I think I did see it. I, you might have missed my reply to it. Maybe. Or maybe I did miss it. Let me check. It was the one about when you finish. I don't think so. But anyway, have a good work. See you later. So, okay. Basically, basically Jesus and Boom. Because you guys seem to be pretty invested in like the ability side of things. And kind of, I want to I wanna explain like my, my thought process towards things. So firstly... I want the game to be online, but realistically, I can't make it online. I don't have I don't have the skills. I don't have the time. It's just I don't have the manpower. It's just not going to happen unless unless my YouTube channel blows up. Like realistically, it's not going to happen. And the other so the main the main reason that the main way that the game will have content is through story mode so i want to have like a fun story that you play out and you have all the different bugs with different abilities and i thought it'd be really fun if the if you could interchange abilities if you level up enough in the story mode so i'm also trying to come up with ways that the abilities could be like every single bug's ability is interchangeable that's like another like design constraint that i that i have for myself basically and so far, I think that it works. I think that pretty much every single one is like that. So this is the caterpillar ability. So if someone goes to tackle you, they get knocked out. It's like a parry, basically. 
But that's the only real transformation in the game so far. Gotta go. I'm gonna do something. But one more idea. A leaf bug. Jesus. Oh. That's a bloody good idea, mate. Yeah, I know. I Someone recommended a leaf bug to me. And uh, in one of the comments. And I was like, oh, man, that's a good idea. But I was a bit scared to model one. I thought it might be difficult. But anyway, thanks for coming to the stream. Really appreciate you being here. It's, uh, it's very cool to meet you. Have a good one. So yeah, all of basically all the bugs have like they all have interchangeable abilities. And I thought that throughout the story you'd be able to level up each of your bugs as you play as them. And then by leveling them up, like if you max out a bug's level, maybe you can then teach that bug's ability to other bugs. I don't know. I'm still I'm still in the works with it. A few people that I've said it to are like, yeah, that's a great idea. And a few people are like, that's stupid. Why would why would an ant or a beetle be able to go into a cocoon? That doesn't make any sense. So still still workshopping the idea really. We'll 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 have to see if it ends up making it into the final game. Go, Weevil. Okay, oh come on. No, I missed. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, so close. So, any, anyway, what I was meant to be doing in this stream was trying to get the spider's ability to work. Which I think I got somewhat, somewhat done. Let's see. I do actually remember how far I got with it. It's just you. Is it just you, J-Noob? Why well, you're still still here though? Still sticking around? It's in a Zoom eleven with bugs. <laughs> wow, wow, is that is how am I pronouncing that? Wow, wow, is that right? Are you the are you the in a Zoom eleven with bugs guy? Someone, uh, someone has said that to me before, and I didn't know if it was you or not. Let me try and I'm gonna try and find that comment to see if it was you. No, it wasn't you. It was someone else. Or was it you? Wait, it says it was. It says it's from a different account. This is from Revim Faldi. Or have you recently changed your name? What? <laughs> we you have. God. Is Inazuma Eleven with bugs a good thing or a bad thing? Is the question. <laughs> Binchling, Jesus. It wasn't. It wasn't you. Oh, God damn. Someone. Yeah. Someone. Um. Someone commented on one of. On like, not my most recent video, but the the previous one, being like, ah, it's in a zero eleven with bugs. And I hadn't played, I'd never played in a zero eleven. I never watched in a zero eleven either. And then after that, I uh, I started watching in a zero eleven. Oh my god, it's so good. It's it's incredible. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Hey, here's a question. Hit me, J-Noob. It's a really good thing. Nice. Wow, wow. That's... Hell yeah. I'll take that. Um, I'm glad that... Uh, I'm glad that that's a good thing. I, I, do you know what? I've been thinking a lot about how I want to market the game. And... Like, the comparison I've been using is, like, Mario Strikers. And I'm like, oh, yeah. If you like Mario Strikers, you'll hopefully like my game. But then I'm also, but I'm also like, do I want to try and be like, if you like Inazuma Eleven, you might like my game, or if you like FIFA, you might like my game. And I'm still trying to figure out what approach I want to go down with it. Thanks for the invite. Sorry, Alex. I, uh, to be honest, I was trying to do like a kind of incognito stream <laughs> when I didn't, I didn't tell anyone, and I was basically expecting no one to 
to show up. So that that was why there was no invite. Uh, <laughs> Because I, I really didn't think anyone would actually show up to the stream. But somehow, some people have found the stream. Which is kind of crazy. Oh, go on. Uh, would you watch a tree grow or a knee grow? Okay. J Noob. Sorry, mate. Where are we? How do you actually use goddamn YouTube? Sorry about that, mate. But, uh, we're not having any of that. Inazuma is more of an RPG, I think. Yeah, no, I've been looking... Uh, I was looking into the games, and they seem they seem a lot slower pace. And I think, gameplay-wise, my game is probably, like, more similar to FIFA than it even is to, to Inazuma 11. Which is kind of a shame, because... I don't want to be like, oh, hey, my game's really similar to 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 FIFA. I want to. I would prefer my game to be more similar to Inazuma Eleven because it's cooler, you know. I showed up after watching a a, a video. So into watch for me. Oh, really? Damn. A few people have said that they they got to stream. Uh, oh, whoa. Uh, the stream and they're recommended. Even like people who like on subscribes are getting the stream recommended to them for some reason, which is kind of cool. I didn't, I don't really know that much about how like YouTube shows streams. I don't know if you know much about Alex, but pretty pretty cool that people are finding the stream somehow. I don't know if this is going to become like a regular occurrence streaming, but. Or streaming on YouTube. But we'll see. I'm enjoying it so far at least. And that's that's kind of the main thing. To be honest, the the <laughs> to be honest the main reason the main reason I'm actually streaming is I'm just procrastinating editing editing uh, the next video. Cause it's like it's pretty close to being edited, but I'm just I'm just too lazy. I I really don't like editing. I I really like streaming, and I really don't like editing. So <laughs> I'm like, well, I could just stream. I've been telling myself I'm going to stream for for ages, but yeah. It's gone better now that there's streaming section. Or you uh, click on your subscriptions. If someone is streaming, it'll show them first. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's okay. I didn't know that if you go onto your subscriptions, the uh, the streams are shown first. I've had like a few. I, while I've been on YouTube, I've had a few streams recommended to me, but. I think not to not to be mean, but I don't think the quality of like majority of people that stream on YouTube is anywhere near as high as the quality of people that stream on Twitch, because Twitch is like designed for streaming, and loads of people stream on it. Whereas YouTube, it's mostly just it's mostly just people who make videos doing random streams. And a lot of them haven't streamed very much, so aren't very good at it. That's just my opinion, though. Anyone, anyone is anyone is free to uh, contradict me on that, though. 
Uh, I re-downloaded Streamlabs to maybe show more Lumen Thare stuff. Damn. To be fair, I was... I was thinking about it. But I don't... I know that if I stream, I just won't get anything done. Also... Don't use Streamlabs just for your own for your own sanity. It's it's so bad. It's really awful. Just use just use OBS. It's Streamlabs like I started off streaming using Streamlabs, but it's so it's just so poorly optimized. I mean, you can do way you can do way more stuff with OBS, but and I think I think there are one or two things that Streamlabs is is pretty good for, but in general. OBS just, I think, is way better. But that's just me. Okay. I like stream last time I used it. Fair enough. It's it's very it's very like intuitive to use. Like it's very simple user interface. It's like. Other, other than the performance, I have no, like, no other hatred towards Streamlabs. But if you look at the, at least last time I used it, if you look at the performance versus OBS, it just, like, just, like, eats your PC alive. And it's, and it's pretty much built on top of OBS anyway. And I, I never really, because I used it for like 99% of the time I was streaming. And then towards the end of when I stopped streaming a lot, I switched to OBS. And it took me forever to switch. But I would say it was worth it in the end. It's just personal preference. So if you're not going to do anything crazy, you got i9 and like 48 gig of RAM there. Probably be fine then, really. <laughs> My machine will be okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Can't complain at that point. I mean, it's not as though you're going to be streaming, like... I don't even know what... What, like, a heavy performance game is at this point. Like, it's not as you're going to be streaming, like, Rivals or something. No, the finals, that's it. Then you'll probably be okay. Okay. So... This this stream was basically just meant to be me fixing like one bug, but it turns out it's way harder to to stream and program than it is to stream and draw. Because I used to stream and draw, and I wasn't very great at the drawing part as well as streaming. But now it's uh now it's a lot harder. My bad, had to do it. You didn't, Jay Noob. You really didn't. Don't be don't be doing anything like that again. Okay. Or you will be you will be gone. I tried Rick rolling. Well that's that's also not gonna work, because I used to stream quite a lot. So I know the I know the the link. I know the link off by heart. It's, it's like four W Q E something like that. In the in the address. So I know I know it. I can't be fooled. People are many many people have tried to get me to the point where it no longer works. That's just how it is. So yeah, basically, I I want to finish the spider bug. If I can get if I can get it down, that would be great. But we'll see. We'll see if I can actually do it. So at the moment shoot in the grappling it just basically extends it until either the grapple is attached or it meets it reaches the max length 
what is the bug, J Noob? Basically, when when the spider shoots a web, it doesn't it doesn't hit the right thing, basically. So it shoots a web out. I'm gonna turn off the I'm gonna turn off the other players so I can demonstrate a bit easier. So you could fire, or you could fire a web at the wall, and then you would expect to go towards the wall because that was what you fired at. But then you just, you could just go anywhere, really. Like at the moment, if I fire it out, it just stays out, and that's not really meant to happen. And then if you hit a wall, it'll like drag you towards the wall. It should also work if I fire it at the ball. Or well, that happens. There we go, that's that's a prime example of the bug. Not not really sure why to be honest. If I knew, it wouldn't be in the game. I think one of the things I need to do firstly is make it so that you can't just like shoot the web out and it just stays out, because that's kind of dumb. So, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm not showing what I'm doing. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Helps if I actually know how to use OBS. Let me let me show you again, JNoob. Well, let me actually try and show you. Do I have the x, y values of the ball? Well, it takes it takes in just the position of anything that it hits. So I have I have all of the values for the ball. The problem is, I don't know what the problem is to be honest. It just it just does what it wants, really. Let's see. So if I do this. that happens. Why? Who knows? There we go. See, that's fine. But the big problem is that if you shoot, if you shoot a web out and it doesn't hit anything, the web just kind of stays out, which is a bit useless. So I'm going to make it not do that first. Did you add an extra 10 or 20 to the Y values? I'm not sure I know what you mean. To be honest with you. Okay, I think the main problem is there's no way to uh, there's no like method for detaching the grapple I just do it all in one thing oh yeah no pinpoint to hit the ball yeah no eventually I might put some kind of like aim assist on so it's a bit easier to hit the ball but for now I'm just rolling with I'm just rolling with like precise aim. The way that I'm kind of making everything in this game is I make it the easiest possible way and then slowly make it better and better so that it's actually like good. So if, for example, like the passing, originally it would literally just kick the ball straight forwards, like straight in front. And then eventually I made it so that it will like auto lock on to like someone that you're facing or like the nearest person the nearest person you're facing that sort of thing but for now with the spider web it's literally just shoot forwards if it hits someone cool go towards them 
If not, then just leave it basically. So, shoot grapple, we'll just call it like cancel grapple. And it basically just needs all of this. inside of it and then I just add cancel grapple into the into the casting of the actual ability can you explain how the web detects when it hits the ball so basically give me one second to just to just finish up what I'm writing If I if I go into Unity, I can show you very quickly. the The web itself is basically just a cube. So, all you do is, like, when when I'm inside the game, if I go to this player, there is in the abilities where are we spider grapple there is a little cube called grapple which is currently inside the spider and the cube has a collider on it and it also has a, a script on it and the script basically just looks at what the collider is hitting and Alexa, ah, Alexa stop noise. no Alexa stop what the hell oh my god I need to I need to not stream in a room with an Alexa bloody hell so yeah the the cube has the cube has a collider on and what I do is I sc I scale up the actual cube to be to be really long like so and it looks it looks like a web when I do it if I do it like if you do it fast enough it looks as though a web is being shot out of the spider and then basically this code on top of the on top of the cube then tells the spider hey you've hit something this is what you've hit this is where it is basically That's that's the basic breakdown of of how it works. Okay. I think let's try this. If I shoot the web now, if I set it up correctly, because it's not this little cube is not actually meant to be there at the start. And that's also meant to be at one. If I then shoot the web out, it shoots and then it stops, which is good. That was what we wanted. How does the collider detect? I want to know how the XY values of the ball and the XY values of the web interact. So basically I use a trigger collider, or no, I use, I use a type of collider is either, it's either just a trigger or a regular collider and then inside the inside this code what I do is I basically check to see if it's something that it should be colliding with that's what these two lines two lines do so a bunch of collision layers and if the web should collide with the collision layers then it'll be like cool then it will debug out to the console whatever I hit just so that I know what it what it was and at that point I then raycast towards whatever I hit to get the exact point on what I hit and then it will dash to that point which is what this code does here 
because the problem with just dashing to the position of the ball is if you have something really big like a wall and you dash to the position of the wall you could have a really long wall and you might hit the wall here but the center point of the wall is actually here so what it would do is it would dash you to the center point of the wall instead of to the point on the wall that you actually hit which is why I've got to do this raycast to make sure that I hit the exact point I think there might be another way to do it but that's the way I've chosen to do it how many XY values are there for the for the ball is X Y and Z this working now it's not working now <laughs> why is it not working anymore so for some reason now the ability will only fire once and at that point it is not usable because I'm pressing pressing trigger and that's it how many though there's there's just one lot there's one lot for the collider one lot of XYZ values. Okay, it's time to figure out why why you can't recast the ability. Because that's not ideal. So what it does is after you shoot it, it says that you can no longer trigger the ability. And it's it says that the cast trigger is is not true as well. Okay, I see a problem here. Basically, the problem is that I'm handling if you do hit something and if you don't hit something at the, the same way, which I shouldn't really do. If you hit something, then it needs to do what it does when it hits something and if you don't hit something it needs to do what it does when you don't hit something so I just need an else if here that takes this and then I can get rid of this in this if statement basically So if the grapple is not attached, then they want to do they want to do a similar thing. That's the problem. If you just have one point, then the web's uh, one point, and the ball's one point, uh, will have to collide, which is not likely. You need to have a region of coordinates. Yeah, no, uh, it does have. It can it can hit any point on the ball's surface. So it's not just you have to hit the exact center of the ball. It can hit any point on the ball on the ball surface and it'll register that point on the surface. But it'll only register it as one point, if that makes sense. So if you have the ball and it hits the ball here, it will register that this point, basically. But you can actually hit the whole actual surface of the ball. Does that make sense? Bro, why are you confusing me? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think I was being that confusing. Maybe that's just me. Okay, am I doing this wrong? Hmm. I think that makes sense. If it hasn't reached its max length, and on top of that, the grapple is not attached, then it'll keep growing. But that should probably be or instead of and, because realistically, it doesn't need to reach its max length and attach to something. It just needs to do one or the other. So what is the problem? 
honestly, J Noob, I don't even know at this point. It's just, it's just, it's just being a pain, really. It should be hitting something, and it should be moving towards the point that it's hitting, but it's not. And I'm trying to figure out why. But for now, I'm just making it so that when you cast the ability, after casting the ability, um, if you don't hit someone, then it does something. Because at the moment, if you didn't hit someone, the ability would just stay active, which isn't really ideal. I want the web to disappear afterwards. So it shoots. That was not ideal. <laughs> Let's try it again. So, what I'm expecting to happen, what I'm hoping will happen, is when I shoot, when I shoot the web, if it doesn't hit anyone, it will then get rid of the web. But we'll see. So I shoot. Okay. That was not what I was hoping for. Let's try. Let's try and see what's going on. I might need to look in the scene view because it looked as though then the web was just infinitely growing, which I don't really want it to do. I do want there to be. Oh no! I don't want to be the mantis. God damn it! Okay, is there a spider on my team I can test with? No, there's two moths. Um, who's the goalie? Oh, it's a ladybug. Okay. My controller, my controller's got quite a lot of drift because it's a very old controller, which makes which makes using the UI very difficult. Because I think I'll click on something. Then it turns out I didn't actually click on it. Alright. Away team. Get out of here. Let's move this here. So I can at least like do some kind of input. And then we'll see what happens when I try to fire the ability. Will it go on forever? That's what I think is happening. It does go on forever. That's, I mean, it's not good, but at least I know what's happening, and that's, that's what really matters. Let's see. So, I think the reason that it's going on forever is because I have this max grapple length way too long. I'm going to set it to 5 and hopefully that will that will be a bit shorter no oh. okay let's get rid of the enemy team and now let's see what happens when I grapple Nope, it still just goes on forever. But why is it going on forever? So. If the local scale dot Z is less than the max grapple length. Or it's attached to a grapple. So I think what should be happening, let's just get rid of these for a second. What should be happening is once it reaches, once it gets long enough, it should just stop. But why is it not stopping? Will you stream tomorrow, J Noob? Uh, I will not stream tomorrow, I'm afraid. I have, uh, I've been thinking a lot about 
how much and when I want to stream, like going into the future. Because I used to stream sort of like three days a week. But, n but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that going forwards. Or was it four days a week? I think it was, was it three or four? I don't remember. I used to stream about three or four days a week. And honestly, this was very, this was definitely just a, just stream and see what happens kind of thing. It wasn't like a, oh, this is going to be like, I'm a, I'm a streamer now. I'm going to do like constant streams all the time. It was more just, I'm going to try streaming because I haven't done it in ages. I wanted to do it for a while, wanted to test the water and then maybe at some point I will, uh, I'll keep it going. Maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll keep going. But what I have been thinking about is I would like to stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday on a, on a regular basis. That would be great. Do you know Danny? Who's Danny? Yeah, I know who Danny is. <laughs> yeah, no. I think if you're uh, if you're a game developer on YouTube and you don't know who Danny is, you've probably been living under a rock. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you ask? Are you secretly Danny J Noob? Is that what's going on here? Okay. Make content like him. Well, I mean, I would like to make content like him, but his content takes so much effort to make. Also, his content is kind of geared more towards like a younger audience, which I'm not as big a fan of. So, I mean, being Danny, sounds like a great thing but if you actually look at his videos they are they have so much editing it's crazy like it's it's just insane like to the his videos must take so much time to actually make and i mean i don't like editing as it is <laughs> so yeah no i i have thought about it but it's not a. Uh, it's not in the cards for me making content like Danny. I'm not. I'm not on his level. Maybe if I had an editor who would do stuff for me. But even then, I don't even. I don't think that Danny's videos could be made. By two people, they basically could only be made by him, because of like the way that they are edited and the way that they're made. Bro, if you want views, yeah, I know. I know. It's the only way? I mean, it's not the only way. There are plenty of people who have done it different ways. And I mean, people watch for entertainment, yeah. But at the same time, right, there are a bunch of, like, Mr. Beast is like the biggest YouTuber, right? And Mr. Beast has the way that he makes videos. And if you just copy Mr. Beast, you're not really doing anything. You're not really doing anything new. You're just a Mr. Beast clone, and there are loads of like successful Mr. Beast clones. But what's the point? Why even bother at that point? You're just a cheap sellout, you know. And I don't really want to be just a a cheap Danny knockoff. I mean, there. I would say that there are some people who are trying to be cheap Danny knockoffs, but I don't. I don't want to be like that. <laughs> That's not for me. I'd rather, even if it doesn't get as as much attention, what I'm doing, I'd rather do it in a way that I actually want to do, you know? Not to copy, do the same kind. Yeah, I mean, even just the same kind of videos, it's just so much damn work. It's like, it's insane amount of work, honestly. Like, his videos, 
would probably take someone with like my editing skills probably just a month of solid work to edit they're that crazy plus danny stop yeah that's true i mean there's rumors he's coming back but who knows We need a new Danny. No chance. I'm not being the new Danny. That's not happening. I don't enjoy... Uh, Danny... I You can tell from watching Danny's videos. He really likes making videos. I really do not like making videos. I like making games. And I would say that Danny probably likes making games and making videos equally. Just from looking at him. Obviously, I, I'm not inside his head. I don't know. But, I, yeah. I don't enjoy making videos enough to be Danny. <laughs> he, in, he, he edits like crazy. And I don't have that in me. I get tired after editing a five minute video. And then you look at his videos and he's animating like Jojo fight scenes. Like editing and animating Jojo fight scenes. It's just too much for me. I don't, I don't have that level of investment. And I don't need to be as successful as him. I just need enough people to play my game that I don't have to work a terrible job. <laughs> That's it. That's all. I'm a simple guy. That's all I need. Is it because I'm not doing it like this? Is the reason this isn't working because because of this? Do ads? What do you mean by do ads? As in like, do advertisements in videos? So I know that that pays well, but I'm, I'm not at that level. I mean, if I was, if I was a big boy on streaming, then yeah, maybe, maybe people would uh, pay me money to do advertisements, but I'm not at that level. <laughs> do ads for the game? Yeah, I've thought about it, but another problem that you have is like, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Like, the uh, the marketing budgets that the games have nowadays, it's just insane. I'm not at that level. And I know I know everyone's like, oh, you just make some TikTok videos or whatever. But it's like, okay, how do you make the TikTok videos? Show me, show me the format to make, to exactly make the TikTok video that will work with my game. And I'll make a TikTok video. But I don't, I don't... I don't know enough about TikTok or like YouTube and whatnot or like Instagram reels and that sort of thing to be able to just like make make something viral. I mean if if everyone knew how to make something viral then I think they a lot of them just would because it's kind of like free money almost. Have I got a job? I do have a job yeah but it's not the kind of job that can pay for like a marketing budget I earn like nothing basically <laughs> I pay my rent and that's about it <laughs> like the amount of money that you actually need for for marketing it's just too much <laughs> it's just too much like you gotta you gotta pay someone to make the trailer or make the trailer yourself which I don't want to do but in like I'm planning to do, even though I don't want to. Um, and then on top of that, like, you gotta pay people to, like, you basically gotta pay people to watch your game. Because you buy the advertisements, and then the advertisements are basically people watching your game, right? And realistically, you need a bunch of people to watch your game. And that's, like, a lot of that's gonna take a lot of money. It's not that hard, really. 
Wow, some some big words from J Noob. Have you uh, have you done it before? Is this is this speaking from personal experience here? Because I mean, that's the thing. I think it's very easy to look from like an outsider perspective and be like, yeah, it's really easy. You just pay some people to advertise your game. It's like, okay, like what what do you give them to advertise? You know. Like, do you, do you give them a video? Is it just the image? Do you give out a bunch of Steam keys for people to play? But, I mean, just seeing, like, a bunch of codes isn't isn't great. Like, you don't even know what you're getting. They need some kind of visual element to it, right? Like, there's so much, so much that you have to do. And then it's like, okay, but who do you want to... Who do you want to even see your videos, right? On, on average, YouTube advertising costs um, 11 cents to 50p a view. If you can save 500 bucks, yeah. But what a, what conversion rates are you getting there? That's the thing. Because, I mean, well, like, even if you lowball it, let's say 500 bucks divided by... The point one one. You're looking at what four thousand five hundred people seeing your game. Well, what kind of when was the last time you saw an advertisement on YouTube and clicked on the advertisement? That's the thing. Like, of the last, of the last ten advertisements you saw on YouTube. Did you click on any of them, do you think? Of the last hundred advertisements, did you click on any of them? Have you ever clicked on anything that you have been advertised on YouTube? Because I would say I've probably clicked on about three things that I have ever been advertised on YouTube. Never? I block it. Well, there you go. <laughs> so it's like, well... At that point, what, what am I buying ads for, you know? Whoops. I think most most people have ad blocker nowadays, and if you don't have ad blocker, like you're not clicking YouTube adverts, realistically. Like, the majority of adverts on YouTube are basically are basically just scams. Or they're just like regurgitated, you know? If the game is good enough, yeah. I guess, but it's just a case of, like, you end up making the trailer anyway. And the trailer's a lot of effort. It's just a lot, you know? Every, I mean, everything's going to be down to, like, skill at the end of the day. But, like, the way I see it is if I just, like, keep making devlogs. Yeah, I'm not going to make, like, crazy Danny-style devlogs. Maybe I'm like 30% of what Danny is. If I get like 30% of Danny's audience size, that'd be pretty great to me. If you don't have if you don't have the skill to do it, you don't have the skill to think it. Eh, I don't know. I don't what you I don't really know what you mean by that. What does that mean? Because I think making a game and marketing a game, they're completely different skills, right? It'd be like, like, for example, if you take someone who's really good at TikTok, like, I can't even think, think of like a big TikToker. I don't watch TikTok, so I don't know. You don't have the skull? Oh, the skull? Oh, okay. But like, if you take, for example, like, take PewDiePie on YouTube, right? Or Mr. Beast. Like, they're really good at making videos. There's no denying that they are great at making videos. Otherwise, they wouldn't be successful. However, can they make a video game? Unless they have been secretly practicing and are actually crazy at programming behind the scenes, the chances are that neither Mr. Beast 
nor PewDiePie would be able to make a video game within like a reasonable time frame, right? Because it's completely different skills, right? And even if all you're doing is just making a trailer for your video, for your game, sorry, the the skill set is completely different. Like you could have the you could have made the best game in the world, but if you don't know how to make videos, then it's kind of it's kind of redundant, you know. So I, at least the way I see it is, if I keep making devlogs, I can kind of practice that skill. I'm not going to be like putting crazy amounts of effort into them. I'll put a good amount of effort into them. I want them to be good videos, you know. But I don't have like the time or energy to be making like masterpiece videos like Danny, you know. That's just too much. <laughs> too much for me. <laughs> I don't have it in me. But at least hopefully with me practicing making... Uh, practicing making devlogs. Then when it comes to making my trailer, hopefully it'll be good. And I'll gain an, somewhat of an audience by doing it, you know? Best game... Uh, plus 5k people to see equals money. Yeah, but you still you gotta make the good trailer though. How do you make a good trailer? That's the problem. How do you do it? It rhymes by the way. Best game. Uh, plus 5k people to see equals money. But how? How do you... Uh, like, you've still gotta showcase the game, right? Like your game could be your game could be crazy good, but you can still make it look like garbage. In the trailer, that is. But I'm I'm practicing. I'm getting there, slowly, steadily. If you make a good game, I'll do it for you. Okay. I I would say I have to disagree there, because I think there are plenty of, of like good games. Like, I could make a bad trailer for a game that already exists, right? Like, think think about this, right? Think about all of the people who, like, make, make Fortnite videos, right? Like, Fortnite, whether you like it or not, is a very successful game, which I think thereby means it's probably a good game. Not I'm personally not a biggest fan of it, but, you know, it's successful. So... There has to be something that people like about it, right? But there are a bunch of, like, really bad Fortnite videos on the internet, right? And I don't want to be the guy who ends up making, like, a really bad Fortnite video, but for my own game, and I'm trying to, like, advertise it. And then it's like, ah, uh, well, if, only if, if I was better at video making, then I wouldn't have had this problem, you know? That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on it all. It's just, I think, like modern day, it's all down to can you make good videos or not? Nah, you just roasted me. Why, did you make Fortnite videos, J Noob? Did I expose you? As being some guy who makes bad Fortnite videos. I know editing, bro. You do? You get it? You're a good editor? Hmm. But that's that's my concern. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm up to that level. Will I have actually made any progress fixing this spider web? Or have I just made it worse over the course of the stream? Because I've been trying to talk and and do it. Let's find out. Yep, I've just made it worse. <laughs> God damn it. 
I know editing is decent. No progress today. Not at all. I'm afraid not, J-Noob. I'm afraid not. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? Honestly, I was expecting to make absolutely zero progress today. And no one to come into the stream. So the fact that... I think at one point there was like six people or something like that. I was, I've not been paying too much attention to it. But... I think it was at one point. That's pretty great, I would say. Genuinely was not expecting that. Didn't expect anyone. So, take the win. Take the little wins. I mean, I do want to stream more. I'm thinking, at the moment, I would have donated, but I'm broke. Mate, no stress, honestly. I'd, uh... I mean, I'll take the donations, but I'm also broke, so I know where you're coming from. <laughs> no, to be, I've been okay. I've been, I've been thinking about it, and I wanna, I want to stream more. However, I'm currently, I'm currently at like a an impasse at work, where I might be starting working different shift patterns very soon. So I don't know if I want to commit to streaming certain days of the week and then in like a month's time I have to switch it or if I just stream as much as possible because I can stream as much as possible don't know don't know I like I like having that consistency of being like this is my stream time because it's really easy to just be like okay well I have to stream now this is all I got it's gotta just gotta do it What do you reckon? Do you reckon I just, just, just stream anyway, even if I might end up having to change stream times? I'm literally living in my parents' basement. At least you got a house, bro. I mean, it's a rented one-bedroom flat, and I can hear crackheads at night outside the window. Can I bet you can't hear crackheads in your parents' basement? Unless your parents are crackheads. In that case, yeah, you probably got it worse. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm also, like, not in school. Not, don't have any of that to, like, fall back on, really. It's like, this is it. This is all I got. I got YouTube or nothing. And... I don't know. I feel like my YouTube might be going somewhere, but it's very early days. I'm the crackhead? Wow. I mean, fair enough. I mean, hopefully not, not actual crack. Like, these guys, they're doing actual crack. And lighting fireworks for some reason. Like, literally, if I open my window, I could see where they light fireworks from. Pretty terrifying, honestly. And I live, like, close to a police station. Why are they doing that? Sorry about the grow thing, by the way. Oh, it's okay, man. I mean, honestly, if you were to, if you were to start doing uh, stuff like that again, I'd have been like, nope, you're out of here. But, I mean, you know, some people, uh, I'm glad that you were able to be like, oh, yeah, no, I, I fucked up my B, that sort of thing. It's all good. It's all, it's all chilled. I mean, some people might be okay with it, but I'm like, I'm not about that. <laughs> I just had to. No, no, man. Don't be, don't be doing that in other people's streams. You're gonna get yourself a bad rap. It's not a good time. The uh, the wrong person's gonna gonna see that, and you're gonna be gonna be banned your career will be ruined it'll be all over for you you'll be trapped in the basement for the rest of your life you won't get it I, I mean I guess not I guess not alright well it is 
it was about 3.30, so I've been streaming for what, like two and a half hours now? Which, it's not that long in the grand scheme of things. Done way longer streams, but it feels like a long time, because I've not been doing it for ages. So I think I'm going to end things here. I think I'm going to slowly wrap things up. Um, I hope... I hope everyone who has come has enjoyed the stream. I don't know if, uh, don't know when the next stream will be. I'm thinking potentially next Friday, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's no guarantees. I'll definitely be doing one the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday after. But yeah. All right. Take it easy, J Noob. How the hell do I end a stream now? <laughs> Gotta study. Good luck. Good luck with the study and good luck with the exam, my guy. I mean, I think you said it was like a year from now, but good luck. <laughs>